Alrighty, we've got a pretty neat find here. We just picked up this uh, 1971 Chevy C20 Camper Special. And uh, it has been parked indoors since about 1975. And it's neat, it's got the 350, so the engine was swapped at some point early in its life. And it is also a manual transmission. It's had air conditioning added to it as well, back, I guess, probably in the 70s. It's told by the guy I got it from that the 54,000 should be the original miles on it. This truck's pretty neat because I think the camper would be super shot out if uh, it had been outdoors show you what the inside of it looks like. I haven't sprayed it off yet or anything like that. It's been sitting outdoors for about two months. It was in a, a warehouse since the mid-70s. The story that I got on it is that a uh, husband and wife, the aunt and uncle of the owner that I got it from, they he's 84 now, but they were over at Pismo Beach camping out, got into a uh, marital spat, and decided they were not gonna do camping anymore. They would be going to hotels and motels instead. So. So it's not cosmetically perfect. And I've gotta decide just how far I go with this because I really like the fact that it has the, the camper on it and it's in such good shape. So let's welcome you into 19 probably 75 here so let's okay so look at that to uh, that towel roll definitely straight out of the 70s let's see what the dishes look like oh yeah vintage baby look at that let's see what's in here Got a little sink, cute little stove. This is the little dining area. Love the turquoise, very cool. Let's see, uh, just got some hell first aid kit up there. Let's see what's in here. Huh? Old boxes of stuff. Let's see, what's this right here? Oh, that's that. Oh, look at that speaker. Deluxe. God bless our camper. It's still here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, just storage. Oh, yeah. Straight out of way back when they had pink toilet paper. Wow. Okay. That's. I've got a fridge here. No, oh, it's just all the stuff for the drain and all that. Oh good, he left a, like some some waiters. And then this is the mirror that goes on the door. Oh, look at this old, uh, that's a toilet? I thought that was an ice chest. Wow, okay, so we can go poop if we need to. Okay, this is the bed up here. It's covered in just like extra stuff that he brought along with him. You can see this camper's in nice shape for the year. This is how you Look in there and talk to your family. Hey, Ma, Pa. But uh, the thing for having been on the road and used for a few years, I, I really feel like it's in good shape. And again, I've got to decide: do I, you know, pull the trigger, get it uh, painted, have the interior, you know, not the interior, the uh, floorboard um, covering redone and then the engine bay because like when they swapped out the engine it's a good strong 350 but it's not pretty like a show truck so I've just got to decide what to do on this thing one thing I love is that it's still all together and I kind of want to keep this thing together 
So it looks like the last time they paid me registration was October of 82. I'm getting a clean title on it. It's, he just had it listed as non-op, so that's cool. So the first step is I'm gonna go get some tires on this thing. So let's see here. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start it up so you can hear it too. fairness it didn't come uh, right out of there <laughs> sounding like that the gentleman that I got it from was very nice and agreed to uh, go ahead and throw in some labor so he uh, changed out he cleaned out the fuel tanks brand new lines uh, did a new thermostat and the housing because the coolant had uh, had eaten it all up and of course the gas was just gross so Anyway, um, this is, oh, this is kind of cool right here too. This little pillow is still there and not all cracked up or anything, so loving that. 